Local activists are also promoting peace by bringing both sides to the table to resolve conflicts. Yeah, we're told 130 cases have been resolved, but tonight News 4's Ray Preston reports on the help they're providing when the risks become too much. When we reach a stalemate, that is frustrating, but the light at the end of the tunnel is we can get this person out of town. Better Family Life's James Clark says since the program to curb the violence began, there have been 30 cases where his organization has helped people start over, sometimes hundreds of miles away. These are situations where if at least one of the people in the conflict doesn't leave town, it will probably end in death. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Friday morning, we spoke by phone with a woman who was on the interstate heading out of St. Louis with her family of seven. It I'm an adult and I just felt like we should leave. She says her sons are involved in a situation where she fears for their lives. Better Family Life is helping the family get set up in another state. She says she can't ever see returning to live in St. Louis. I'm fine with it. St. Louis has nothing to offer. The Reverend Carl Smith is a former St. Louis police officer and lead mediator for the de-escalation. When it gets to gun violence, uh, there's anger, there's hatred, and it's very emotional. And uh, it's a powder keg. It becomes that very clear cut that if this individual does not leave town, there will be further shootings and there will be retaliation and it will continue to spiral. Moving out of town can become a life or death situation. In St. Louis, Ray Preston, News 4.